Hello Sugar and Crumbs viewers, my name is Laura and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a chocolate flavoured no bake cheesecake. I've got my ingredients here in front of me so I'm just going to run through those with you. We've got 10 digested biscuits, 120 grams of melted unsalted butter, 300 grams of cream cheese, 200 ml of double cream and then two tablespoons of our natural flavoured cocoa powder. Now today I'm using the chocolate orange but we do have five flavours in total which are here and you can use any of these in this cheesecake. So to get started I'm just going to take the digestive biscuits and we're going to crush these into crumbs. The biscuits into fine crumbs which takes a couple of minutes okay and then we're going to add in the butter that I've already melted I'm just going to pour that in I'm just going to use my spatula to mix the butter into the crumbs so the tin that I'm using today is a seven inch um, loose bottom tin and that just means that the bottom can easily be pulled out so later when the cheesecake is set we can just push it out from the top like that so we're just going to pour the, cr the biscuit crumbs into the tin and then I've just got a little spatula here which I'm just going to use to help flatten the biscuit crumb down for our base you just need to try and get this as even as you can. Okay, and then once you've done that, we're just going to pop that in the fridge to chill for 30 minutes. Okay, so while our base is setting in the fridge, we're going to make the filling. So here I have got the ingredients, which I'll just go over again what we're going to use now. Got 300 grams of cream cheese, two tablespoons of our natural flavoured cocoa powder, I'm using the chocolate orange today, but again, you can use any of our five delicious flavours. 200 ml of double cream and 130 grams of condensed milk. Now, the reason that we're using this is because cocoa powder is quite a bitter taste. It just adds a little bit of sweetness. So we're going to start by putting the 200 ml of cream into the mixer. And we're just going to give that a whisk just to help thicken it up. I'm just going to put that on a medium setting. Okay, so once we can see that the cream has started to thicken, we're going to add in the cream cheese. The cocoa powder. And pour in the condensed milk. Again, we're just going to give that a little whisk together. Okay, so I'm just going to use my spatula to scrape down the whisk and the side of the bowl just to make sure that everything is getting mixed in. I've just got a bit of powder at the sides and then we'll just give it one final whisk. You're just looking to see that everything is has been incorporated while it's been whisked. We're just going to wait now until our base has finished chilling in the fridge and then we'll come back to add in the filling. Okay, so now we're going to make the filling, for, we're going to add the filling to our base for the no bake chocolate cheesecake. So I've just took out the base from the fridge, it's been in there for 30 minutes, and then I'm just going to take the filling, scrape it down from the sides, 
and then we're just going to pour that straight over the base. And then I've got one of these little mini spatulas, which I'm just going to use to spread out the filling. Okay, so when you're happy that you've spread that out evenly, you can decorate. So to, today I've just got some grated chocolate in here. And then from our new Sprinklicious range, I've just got these little um, sprinkles here. And I'm just going to take a pinch of the chocolate and just spread that around. And this is up to you, depending on the flavour that you're using or the occasion, you can decorate it however you wish. You can have a little play around. It's just nice to add a little bit of colour and texture. So we sprinkled that on, I'm just going to use these sprinkles here just to go around the edge And then once you're happy with your decoration, you're just going to pop it back in the fridge for a minimum of three hours. But if you've got time, then overnight would be best. <laughs> 